you know, yesterday uh, somebody asked me why I play football. And I said, uh, bro, football gave me everything. Like the person that I was 10 years ago and the person that I'm now, it's just everything is just up to football. So like my question to you is, uh, how was your development through football and uh, how much football gave to you? Very good question. And I think my answer would be very common to your answer that thanks to football, everything in my life changed. Everything changed in a good way. I'm not, I, I cannot say in a bad way because football taught me punctuality. Football taught me how to be professional. Being wanting to be a football player, wanting to, to play football, I always persuaded what can I do to keep going as long as I can. Who to look for? I mean, who, who should I be uh, trying to, let's say, uh, who should be my elders? Why should they should be my elders? Who should I be tracking in my life to actually get to the point that this is what I, what I want? And apparently, when, even when you, when you, if you don't notice that, you play football, you do your best at football, you're disciplined at football, you actually improve yourself. In life, you're also, imp you're also improving. At your home, you're improving. Responsibility-wise, you're improving. Mentality-wise, you're improving. Work was you're improving. I can tell you that I can perform much better at work with a smile on my face, being happy, being extremely interested at work if I do if I play football in the afternoon or if I play football the, the day before. So football doesn't just bring joy, doesn't just bring you happiness. It brings you that you're doing something that you love. It changes you as a person internally because really football feeds your brain, feeds your mentality, feeds your feeds everything. For me, it's the reason why. I, for example, take care about my health, take care about my food. What should I eat? When do I sleep? Why don't I party? I don't go to party. I don't want to party. I'm happy. I have fun. I, I have fun going to the gym every single day. Even if I don't put on weights, I do mobility exercises. I do, I don't know, stretching. I do, I work on my weaknesses. I work on something that maybe will improve by 1% by the end of the year, but will help me because I'm, at my age, I need to be very specific at how I train. What do I work? I work every single day. I need to take care about that also because sitting at work or being uh, or doing some office work or sitting in front of the laptop, you, you need to take care. So now, lately, I just bought these glasses, so anti-Blu-ray glasses, which uh, they're coming now very, let's say, common and very popular in the world. They are very useful. They really help you. They really increase, the, for example, the quality of the service. Such a small detail, I know people will say, oh, come on, what glasses? What, what They help. I know they, there's like a small amount of, let's say, improvement, but they help. And if you can actually get the small details from every single part, Small details build up to make a huge detail, and this big detail will make a big difference at the end. So never ignore the small details, because if you are disciplined in football, if you are giving everything in football, and football is leading you this way, and you still believe that I will be better, I will improve, entirely you're improving as a person. You're improving as a person at your home, you're improving as a person everywhere around you, because football it will make you disciplined, even if you want it or not. If it's your decision to give up, or you don't want to actually give 100% in football, it's, it's up to you. I'm, I cannot guarantee that you will be a better person in, in other parts. But if you guarantee that, guarantee me that every day you will be giving 100%, if you, if you guarantee, me, gu guarantee me that every day you will not be partying, you will be going to the gym or you will be going to work on your weakness or you will be reading or you will be improving as a person in that way, only in football because that, that is where you're concentrated, I guarantee you, I promise you, you will be improving in your life. Because this is what you actually want. You, something that's you're working towards parallelly and maybe let's say you're not really paying attention to that everything changes around you and i think patrick can agree with me on this point yeah 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 definitely <clears throat> definitely 100%. bro 100 how you do one thing is how you do everything i say that so, bro. <laughs> definitely not nothing is not connected to the other everything you do is connected to some other things around you because we're on person if you do something, it has to affect something else. Even in a bad way or in a good way, I'm not here to say that. But it affects. And it's up to you to decide how it affects me. How you put yourself in a mental state or, let's say, control your, your, your inner peace. If this affects me in a good way, I will do it. If this really affects my inner peace in a bad way and I'm not able to do it, give, let's say, perform 100% in football or at work because you always have to keep into consideration. If you work for a company, you are oblique and you are, let's say, in front of God, you, you will be actually asked, did you work? Did you do your work? Did you only be at work to get money or you work because you have to give 100% at work? So this is also something that we have to not forget that your employer is, is not his fault that you're a football player. If you work for him, you have to give 100% at work, even if 100% is only 50% of your day. But for the 50%, you have to give 
The rest of the 50% is, is your football or your life. Also give 100%. If you give 100% in every part of your life, if you are able to actually get to the point that I give my all in every single part of my life, which is quite difficult, but believe me, at the end of the day, you will say I did everything. I was good at work because I give work what it deserves. I give football what it deserves. I give my stomach what it deserves. I give my body what it deserves. I give my family what they deserve. You will be happy. You, you will be fair. This is being fair in life. And God, if you're fair, God will be fair with you and you will get much more than you expect. This is what I always think. You have to do, if, if God puts you in, in a way or in a place where you are able to give, you don't want to give, I'm sorry, but you're selfish. You can give. If you, as long as you can give, as long as you can help others, even by a word. And Ahmed, I, I, I think you're, you're also a Muslim. So in our religion, being smiling to your, to your friend is a, is a good deed. So even if you mm-hmm. go out in the street or be a good person, just smile at your friend. If you just smile, this is a good deed. Imagine how small it is and how big of a difference can it make for a person who's having a bad day. You just go to him and say, hey, man, how are you? Are you good today? Come on, smile. It's okay. Everything will be fine. You just smile at him and you walk by and then he, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, he comes and tells you, I'm a thank you. You came to me. You smiled at me. And thanks, thanks to you, I'm, I'm actually having, I felt better. Or you made me feel better today. This is success. Mm. This is what you should do. You should not be throwing bad words at people. You should not be arrogant. You should not be a vulgar person. You should be a person who, when you speak, either you speak good or you don't speak at all. Because what you say, words, if they come out of your mouth, they cannot be, be taken back, unfortunately. So you have to be careful what words you choose, what to say, what not to say, especially when the situation is quite critical or people might be affected by the words. So yeah, this is something also, it's, it's hard, let's say, to, to somehow control. But if you think about it in a way that I'm doing this because I also would expect people to smile at me. I want people to tell me good things. I want people to tell me positive things to keep to stay in the in the say in the in the environment which I created for myself and also to stay in the mental state where I am always motivated. I'm always running. I'm always fueled to keep going, moving forward. I'm always in the same path. I don't want to be going right or left or having a detour. This is what you if this is what you expect from people to tell, to do to you. Do it to them. Start. Stop by yourself. Don't, don't tell people that, come on, do this for me uh, or I will not do it. Do it first. You'll get it. You don't do it. Don't expect people to do it for you. Stop by yourself. 